Hello everyone. Do you hear me well? Okay. Um, today we are six, seven number of uh, seven, eight or more people from Prepos Print, and uh, we talk. Uh, we will talk about what is Prepos Print and mostly about this uh, thematic, uh, a community of practice and what it means for us. Yes. <laughs> Um, here you can see uh, our name, uh, and there is uh, more people in the assembly, uh, which is, who they are part of uh, PPP. Uh, I'm Quentin Juel. Uh, I'm Zest Duret. I'm Julien Budret. <laughs> I'm Victor. And I'm Julie Blanc. Um, that's uh, the initial definition of uh, prepost print. Uh, it was uh, the first sentence present in the first uh, state of the website of PPP. Uh, it's uh, remember w what is the purpose of creation of PPP, but we will go further. Um, and it, we say prepost print highlights experimental publications made with free software. As this sentence was right by uh, Raphael Bastide and Sarah Garcin, who, uh, who they are the founder of uh, Purpose Print in 2017, if yeah. I remember well. And uh, quickly they are joined by many other people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so again. sorry. Um, yes, indeed, like Quentin said, um, Sarah and Raphael, Sarah Garcin and Raphael Bastide uh, created the um, Purpose Print in 2000 this year. Mm -hmm. uh, and inviting uh, a lot of people that had practices already established. Uh, uh, I see in the people there, uh, Reis, and I see Etienne, and uh, mm -hmm. many, and Michael, and many people that were um, working on the kind of stuff we were uh, interested in. M namely, computed layouts, fun tools, uh, fun as a real importance between our practices, experimental approaches, strange typefaces. <laughs> we are also uh, friends and or part of other collectives or groups, um, Velvetin, for example, um, alternative workflows, um, and the, um, I am a teacher, uh, some are students, uh, we are learners, graphic designers, publishers, and at the bottom, you can see um, mainly free software, and that's uh, something important for us because um, not everything has to um, be free software based to belong to Purpose Print. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, some uh, of the names we were uh, thinking about when. Uh, <coughs> bringing together this uh, first step of the initiative. <coughs> uh, you might know uh, most of them, uh, a lot have been in LGM uh, for the past years. And of course, open source publishing will, uh, mm, well, I, I think really the, the, the first to mm, pave the steps uh, towards our practices. We rooted in in some cultures, uh, mostly uh, <coughs> fanzines uh, or auto publications, whether they are physical or online, uh, but also academic research or web publishing, also net art, creative coding. And Julie will. Uh, have a, a look at the succession of events that uh, took part. Uh. 
So the first event of Prepo Sprint was uh, in uh, 2017. Uh, this is Raphael. You see it uh, like uh, you see him uh, two days ago and yesterday. Uh, so it was in a school, Parsons Paris. Uh, for me, it was the first time I go to Prepo Sprint. Uh, so it was today f workshop dedicated to experimentation of alternative publication. And uh, Sarah and Raphael invited uh, also um, uh, Etienne Rosery here and uh, Roma Marula. Uh, and uh, it was uh, like, I think, uh, 20 people. Uh, we, we just uh, experimented a lot of things with uh, uh, a tool called uh, PG Machine and with uh, Deviation. Um, so this is the first. The second was uh, bigger in Gete Lyric. Uh, we invite. Um, it, it was this session was only an invitation. We invite a lot of people we know the work uh, to share um, what we do on the project. And the second day was a public day uh, with a public chic fair. It's the second uh, photograph. Sorry. Uh, so uh, there is a. A little bit of public, it was cool, and we do also conferences. Uh, so it was the first real public event in the sense of we do a lot of communication. After we do uh, this event in Ansa Lab, uh, so it was lecture and conferences today also. And so Ansa Lab is uh, also a school, uh, Get Eric before it's more a cultural space, and here it's a school. Um, Yes, same people here. <laughs> uh, and we, uh, sorry, before, in this event, we talk a lot about uh, transmission and teaching because there is a lot of, uh, of teacher here. Uh, this was uh, an event for Page Media. Um, before it's called Page Yes, actually, it's, it was called uh, Page Media. So I, I'm part of PGS2, and we proposed this workshop. It was the beginning of PGS, so we invite some people to test it. So we do this with Prepo Sprint. Uh, we do this in Brussels, in uh, open uh, source publishing place, and also in Ansel Lab. And we, we do deeper in the code. We invite also publisher to uh, talk about the possibility of the tool. So there was very three days. And there is a one day uh, more with experimental um, uh, graphic designer, and the second day was more about uh, uh, the publisher, actually. Uh, this was in La Générale. Uh, La Générale in Paris. Uh, all the, for now, all the events are in Paris, uh, in this slide, but after you can see other. Uh, and uh, it was, um, La Générale is like a cultural space, uh, very political, and uh, we proposed PPP prototype. It's more about exper experimenting things together and uh, build, build uh, some little things. Uh, I think in this event there is more students that came also. Um, before it was not true, but here more students. <laughs> And there is uh, two of this PP prototype in uh, La Générale. And after, this is, uh, so this is not a pre post print event at first. It was uh, in Varia in Rotterdam. There is a, we see a little text that uh, called for a uh, discussion about uh, web-based practice for publishing, uh, for print printed publishing and uh, actually we came <laughs> all <laughs> in this event and it's transformed a little bit in purpose print event and it was an important event for us because it was after the pandemic uh, and it was like um, the at this event we go to a table and we say so what is Prepos Print? Because we need to present it to the people of Varia that didn't know Prepos Print. So it was uh, like a, a discussion about how to uh, uh, improve Prepos Print and um, 
improve the functionment of Prepper Sprint. And we here we talk about for the creation of the minor group, for example, is in this event. So for us, it's like an important event too. Uh, yes, and we do some stuff <laughs> like uh, other events. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, yes, because um, we have uh, plenty of tools uh, to uh, promote or discuss or uh, organize events uh, in Prepper Sprint. And as you know, you have to be made a little bit organized and uh, to to administrate these kind of tools and uh, every six months we change of uh, people that are in charge of the technical maintenance of these tools uh, administrate the server um, uh, administrating the matrix chats and uh, we have got also a wiki and a newsletter but we don't use anymore <laughs> but it's the kind of uh, uh, the stuff we have to uh, maintain and uh, we change uh, our group every six months and it's a good way to yes but <laughs> it was the original original plan and uh, it's uh, yes it was very interesting to do that because before it was more organic and and organic means sometimes it's one people doing this <laughs> and uh, the famous word of uh, um, I don't remember her name, sorry, but uh, the tyranny of structuralness, uh, Joe Friedman is really important uh, to uh, situate this kind of idea of creating maintaining group. Yeah, just a bit on that. Um, yeah, so I think that within PPP, uh, the responsibility is shared. So there is like this uh, group of maintainers. Um, and I remember that like last time in January, so they changed the group of maintainers. And there was Alex, who, is, who it was his first time um, with us, and it was also my first time actually. <laughs> and then he became a maintainer, so like um, I think we're not afraid to give like big responsibility to newcomers who are just like interested in what's going on in PPP. And and for example, for myself, uh, I didn't become a maintainer, but then uh, we were talking about doing an event outside of Paris. And since uh, Timothy and I, who is there both live in Strasbourg and we have another community there that is also interested uh, much more into the Unix uh, kind of way of doing things and we wanted to like merge those two t different type of culture and so that's how also the responsibility is given and I also kind of like um, how can I say that yeah um, took the responsibility to organize the meeting for this discussion and so yeah um, I think uh, we rely on the different possibilities of people to invest themselves in PPP uh, because we are not actually maintaining like a big app or a big tool. Uh, we just need to create this hub and maintain this hub. And since everyone having like so much fun about it and care about it, then the maintainer are kind of like the one responsible for like the big care of, the, the, of PPP. But then also everyone through this kind of like system of care uh, become uh, I would say uh, cautious, maybe. I don't know. I know cautious is a good word, but just yeah, uh, trying to nurture uh, the PPP community. And so, yeah, that's the point on maintainers. So, one very organized and one that is uh, on the go. Like, if someone wants to do something, like for instance, Julie and Jan organized the last event. Yeah. <laughs> and you can go back. To yeah. Uh, so in Varia, we also do uh, a fanzine in just four, four hours. Uh, it's made with pad, uh, self-host um, server, and PGS, for example. Uh, so this is another event in Varia. So after this, um, the first, there is a, like a local um, group that form uh, around uh, Prepper Sprint in uh, Netherlands. And uh, yes, another one also. So you can see we expand a little and we do uh, a lot of uh, events. There is also the principal event, but uh, you can, we have also, for example, Julien House workshop with, uh, called PPP, but uh, with uh, his student info. And uh, the last one, that yes, this year in January, uh, it was a big one, it's uh, in Césure. Um, in Paris, and we have uh, around, uh, I think, 50 people came. <laughs> so 
like in people from France, Belgium, Germany. And uh, it was very cool. Two days uh, during a weekend, uh, we saw a lot of book, a lot of presentation, and we do some stuff. It was very cool, and we eat very well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people. Uh, it was also there is people from. Uh, yeah, a current designer, OSP, uh, practical. Uh, uh, Practical, sorry, uh, student, and uh, it was your first. Yeah, it was my first time. Yes. Okay. And also, we uh, we making stuff, and uh, we will see a little bit of what interests people in prepa sprint. And uh, the first uh, is experimental and punk layout tools. Uh, this is an example of uh, what kind of tools uh, we pretty like, like uh, it's a pagey machine made by Sarah Garcin and it's a uh, pagey, it means a publishing jockey machine, like a DG machine, but uh, for publishing. And there is button, you can uh, change uh, type settings and orientation image, uh, add uh, some glitch image, uh, glitching on the image, glitch on the image and stuff like that. Um, and the other is uh, Raphael uh, Bastide, uh, each page of function, uh, which is um, another idea you can, uh, uh, what to print, it's also a way to uh, experiment uh, script and stuff, in interactive stuff to uh, make book with that. Like here, it's a, a draw tool uh, and each uh, page, it's a function you can see. Uh, and uh, this function describe what will happen in the drawing during the drawing and he made this little zine and um, we'll owe this idea of uh, making a key tool or very uh, yes um, DIY tools and DIY publication uh, with PPP we, uh, we made a GitLab for demos in the next slide <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> and uh, here you can find some uh, demos already code, but also uh, some issues with a kind of idea. Uh, what kind of maybe it can be fun of what we can <coughs> do and what we want to do, like uh, uh, putting a rock in a page and uh, the, ro the rock going uh, further the page and uh, just crushing the typeface. It's a kind of stuff like we want to do. Uh, as you see also, we are very into collaboration and very situated uh, practice as we are, we organize events in place, meeting people and uh, using collaborative tools like uh, chats, pad and stuff like that. And here you can see the chatty pub tool from uh, Akerson Designer which is a tool uh, you can uh, type content and also CSS uh, and chatting with people and create a book from this uh, chat application. And uh, yes, Zulip uh, application, thanks. And uh, as uh, we, we creating also workshops uh, um, as a mostly, t um, not mostly, but some People are teacher or graphic designer are really interested about transmission. We and uh, we are in context of school of art, uh, being to ask a lot of workshops about this kind of practice, and uh, we arrive a lot of time with some stuff that can uh, change the idea of uh, what is a traditional workflow of publishing system. And here it's an example of a workshop I made in Roubaix, which is a stuff we are students are using pads to write content and other pads to write um, CSS. And the idea was to make two groups, one for the content and one for the uh, design. And after two days, we change the roles and it's to force the collaboration. Yes, and here. Yeah. Oh, it's the big list. Sorry. It's the big list of the workshop we led uh, within schools. And um, it's on our wiki. You can it on, find it on wiki.purposecreen.org. And um, 
what's quite cool with them, I think, is that they are main, most of them are pretty well documented um, uh, with every um, output and uh, syllabus and resources, which is uh, something all the teachers members of Purpose Print, but also the other are really involved in. Uh, we'll talk about that later, uh, but um, the motto sharing is caring uh, is quite important to us. And uh, teaching while learning is also really important. And this, this idea of uh, transmission uh, uh, produce some stuff like this uh, journal made for the event in Paris uh, at Gaîté Lyrique, yeah, the second event. And it's a uh, uh, publication uh, designed by Julie, and I help her with a little bit on it. And it's a combination of uh, articles right by member of PPP and also Lexic. And uh, it was a uh, 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 sell during this event, and it's also disp disp uh, al available sorry, <laughs> uh, at uh, Edition HYX, uh, which is uh, the, the publisher of this journal. And it's a glossary. Yes, glossary. If there is a glossary too, because it's for students, so they didn't know a lot about this practice or the vocabulary of um, uh, libgraphic tools or maybe HTML and CSS, so we made a little glossary. Maybe uh, we can go back in the techniques also. Uh, this, uh, this journal was a publication, a very hacky publication with uh, a mix of uh, CSS prints, uh, only disponible specification in the browser and HTML. It was a polyfill of uh, CSS region, and it was before PGS, for example, so it was very uh, slow to make. <laughs> uh, yes, and we're making some funding, a website, this kind of stuff like Avoid Software. It's a little um, tutorial to use uh, crappy uh, command line to do some funny stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, uh, reduce image using uh, algorithm of uh, sim like uh, the sim carving algorithm and stuff like that. And we made this kind of little publication for school event in Cambrai. And we uh, also have a website where students can try this stuff to make images, to drawing fonts and stuff like that. So, um, maybe I have to go quicker <laughs> but yeah okay um, and uh, during the uh, event of purpose print we um, have a big question about uh, okay we're making a lot of books and uh, some books are really uh, in little um, production and some are in very industrial um, production and there is no way to see the uh, to have an overview of possibilities of web to print practice and also code to print practice and uh, as teacher uh, i go in workshop and and my um, student and my student project with my bag and all my books personal books and i know julian <laughs> do the same and some other people do the same and we have an idea we talk about that with julian and uh, lucille haute uh, to have maybe a, um, a library uh, where you can uh, find a collection an archive of this uh, practice uh, uh, with uh, these books in physics and also uh, documentation about these books. And uh, you can see the website here and uh, the next month it will be a visible archive of uh, all the books and uh, also interviews of uh, uh, designer and publisher doing these books. And uh, it's uh, an ongoing project and it's very interesting project. And uh, the last one, <laughs> it's uh, we are making hacky stuff, but also uh, some of us are really into uh, pro 
uh, books making <laughs> with uh, this uh, technical practice uh, because uh, some um, publisher are interested of the idea of this idea of using uh, web and web browser and also the idea of having a single source to publish books websites and uh, this project is uh, a, si a single source publishing project with multiple uh, outputs epub and uh, website and uh, and the books and uh, there is publishers that are interested in this uh, this idea and all f with free software <laughs> and in france we have uh, this uh, publishing house uh, called uh, c and f editions uh, uh, and here you can see our books made with uh, PageGS and web to print and uh, yes, it's a good. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. um, I read a little story. <laughs> okay. Um, so my name is Zest and I used to print in my browser before I was an artist, a small publisher and a graphic designer. And when I was a kid, I used to print a lot of blog posts. I'd hang out on Skyblog and collect texts whose formatting style I liked. They were usually self-introduction paragraphs with frames in block of colors, vernacular spelling, glyph drawing. And uh, in this way, um, I collected a few dozen of presentation of unknowns, and I never saved anything, not even as a bookmark. On the other hand, uh, when I visited my grandparents, I find paths back, print out everything, uh, print out everything I could to put to put it in a folder. When I got home, I staple some of them together and keep them hidden in a drawer. There was nothing transgressive about it, but it was a proof that I be I'd been on the computer often and for a long time more than the limit imposed by my parents. <laughs> And these aren't my first zines, but they are the very first made with a printer and a computer. And the reason I choose this anecdote as a starting as a starting point is to address an essential dimension common to both web pages and print zines. The graphic practices of people who aren't professional designers. In other words, who are not paid for the forms they produce, but who do for themselves to address for others. And um, this is almost how I got introduced to the prepost print practices and then to the prepost print community, cool shapes in cool places. So I was following updates from the website because I was seeking for alternative tools to proprietary software, but also because of my interest in the act of print itself. I wasn't very aware of what was prepost print exactly, but I knew I wanted to explore deeper the technical features of the put to print practices. So Prepost Print is more than just printing zines to me in your web browser. Uh, Prepost Print gathers not only designers and teachers who probably print more often in workshops than home. Prepost Print is open and brings together enthusiasts, makers and doers. And I think that this role of non-professionals and non-technicians is extremely important and necessary to, for, uh, to format print and share all our resources and experiences inher inherited from blogs and zine backgrounds. <coughs> Attempting to escape, uh, yeah. Uh, so to do things differently, to pull our tools and resources in inevitably a way, is inevitably a way of asserting and giving, ex in giving expression to voices that got beyond the norms. We come together around plural ways of doing things, using different tools, different modes of writing, different ways of working with people, terminals and printers. We get together on the internet and in workshops to work together across medium, divide, across medium divides. We don't focus our practice on a finished object, but on the time spent tinkering with it, finding solutions, moving from one machine to another. And this relationship to design embedded in the writing in text editor is in the movement of forms, in the sharing of screens, reflects <coughs> a general concern to overcome the social boundary between web and print. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, and uh, so I, um, 
Uh, no, I, 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 uh, I, um, I, I, uh, sorry, I started a, a little uh, publishing project, and so I uh, publish uh, uh, books from uh, that are um, some. Uh, uh, yeah, I publish a, a zine and books uh, uh, in, uh, um, in the HTML. <laughs> <laughs> uh, available uh, um, uh, on the on the website later and uh, and uh, also in printed version. <laughs> when we met in Césure in Paris, our last event, uh, we it was the time uh, LGM did. Uh, call for applications or uh, proposals and we we were thinking uh, it could be a, a, a good thing for us and maybe for you I don't know but uh, for us it was the, the occasion to to this this exercise of self-presenting and uh, sum up uh, what we are, what we can do, what we want to uh, become. So we started to discuss with the, the group uh, of five we are now with Martin, which is with there also. And uh, we took uh, quite time and together uh, around meetings and we, we wrote uh, a lot on pads um, to better understand uh, what we can do as uh, active members of the free software and graphic design uh, community because we feel we are part of and uh, but maybe with a, a singular uh, presence um, so that's why we were uh, trying to define and summarize the only four slides that will follow <laughs> uh, are uh, placeholders for us now to try to testify of this uh, way of deliberating and discussing together around four or five uh, issues, uh, politics issues, uh, what about print, what about um, uh, experimental approaches, <laughs> the open source question, which is uh, a, a, a real good questions, we'll dive into them. Maybe someone will, will want to start on political uh, routes or Hold it. Yeah. So um, um, then again, I'm not. Uh, I'm quite new uh, within PPP, and but the fact that like strikes me first is that m maybe also be there is a lot of French people. So that's why. But like uh, we are not avoiding the the, the political discussion. Even uh, it was very important to us, and it is very important to me um, in the like free lib environment and like the other community i have in strasbourg is also the the topics there um and um always this kind of thing about like yeah having free tools is very important and free software is very important obviously but then i my point uh yeah my take i would say which is um free software is nice but like we said free software for free human and then we have to talk about like so, so, uh, society uh yeah societal matters and it is something very um, important because maybe we also have a lot of people who are activists or at least interested uh, in politics uh, within PPP um, especially in those late times uh, with uh, the uh, for example the ongoing genocide in uh, Palestine or for example um, the transphobic laws that are going on in France right now and those are the discussion we have and especially um, when we're talking about like graphic designer editors and just putting information on the network is something very important to just exist so talking about prints and talking about um, 
I mean, making books, making information, making websites is obviously politic. And that's um, how we kind of like ro are rooted in that. Um, and also it's because um, we can afford that. We are a small community and um, we can afford to be very straightforward with what we think there isn't like we are we, we don't represent like a huge app or something um and that's uh the the, the queue that we're choosing and that is uh very what can i say close to us and yeah so that's my point on the the political rules and and values and it's uh yeah i don't think there is something very um how can i say um maybe uh like something we don't have a like proper discourse or activist discourse but it's still there so we had to address it uh today that uh, it's very much there and yeah and it it feels that it's always important and when we're speaking about tool we're also speaking about politics no it's not not uh, any surprise that uh, digital tools are uh, problematic at uh, a lot of levels and we are perfectly aware of that and even if we use these tools like every one of you uh, we try to uh, understand and better address the problems they mm, cause maybe on uh, another dimension which is uh, why we do print uh, at the age of digital publishing um, and print not only uh, professionally designed books but also zines and also posters and also um, a lot of uh, stuff that can be printed and th that can stickers maybe uh, that can spread uh, around the world maybe just a word on that or yeah, not well. yeah don't <laughs> want yeah it's n nothing new there but uh, the the uh, we know that print can be shared without electricity can be uh, forget on a bench can be uh, spread on walls and uh, it has um, specific qualities and we try to hybrid hybridate uh, both digital and print uh, approaches and build together uh, around the web around the print stuff uh, and in between them uh, it's a uh, short <laughs> <laughs> on the open source uh, maybe, <laughs> um, maybe it's a good way to have a transition for the next uh, talk and um, as we think about this kind of idea of we are political interest people in ppp and we maybe you s you have seen a lot of tweets or stuff about how some projects in open source can be also very problematic uh, about how they are organized and different and create and uh, in PPP, we are thinking, yes, we are really rooted to flow software, but maybe we can think also how to go further and watch about what it can, this kind of tools and can recreate some coercion stuff and some very problematic uh, stuff. And, uh, but we are, deeply rooted to floss and we don't want to the floss be lost in this kind of problems and let the and make a, a floss a, a, a more valu valuable or interesting or okay. welcoming and uh, enjoyable for all people in this world <laughs> Yeah, I think one of the points that we had in our meeting was like, how do we um, avoid this thing, which is when you have like an open source community and like um, with new members uh, to, uh, how can I say, decapabilize. Uh, uh, so uh, not guilty them, uh, <laughs> I would say, about like having a Mac or like even like being on Windows and not being like as open source as 
uh, someone could be or like having Google on your phone and just, uh, um, how can I say, just acknowledge the interest and uh, accomp yeah, accompany, yeah, just like uh, uh, yeah, help them uh, like, uh, yeah, just be gentle, and I think it comes from the fact that like most of mm -hmm. I mean n I'm not a teacher, but like there is a lot of teacher here, and like uh, teaching code is always very difficult. And then you teach code with like free software, and students I imagine not n doesn't know that much about free software, and so you m have to be very uh, gentle, I would say, and and so it then it comes back into the the, the PPP com the the PPP community, which is a very nice place to not feel. Um, not free enough or not libre enough to actually do free and lip stuff and that's okay like to just deal with this kind of like paradox that we all lived in that yeah i have a, <laughs> a, how can i say ethics but applying those ethics is kind of difficult sometimes and doing it within a community is always better yeah um Experimental approaches uh, are important to us. We find ourselves like uh, maybe um, researchers or uh, challengers of the tools. Uh, we place in their edges and, and the margins without uh, the joke. Um, yeah, we challenge the tools and, and the practices. Uh, that's the that's the point. We we try to to build sometimes inefficient tools, or maybe wacky ones or buggy ones, uh, all the time. Uh, and that's a, a way to research and to push things further. And then the last, uh, uh, Victor, you already talked mm, talked about that. But that's the, the final point we wanted to to show. Um, you, s you said gentle, and um, that's I think and we think uh, one of the mainly points is the human relations that exists uh, within our uh, group and also here. It's the the welcoming we can uh, we can have towards. Um, newcomers or noobs uh, in every uh, field and we especially um, understand that, that as teachers because um, uh, to me at least it's quite hard to teach uh, as an open source um, promoter uh, in in the school where every uh, Computer as an Adobe license and a suit, uh, mostly suit, not license, uh, on it. And um, so it has to be uh, libre uh, approaches are necessarily taken with, a, um, I think, with a, a, a gentle pass towards it so that it is not uh, too hard and, and too frightening. Maybe. The thing about the art school, it's and design school, it's also print is very important in the school, uh, more than uh, actually web and digital things. So it's like a Trajan horse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do printed stuff, but with web, for example. And uh, so when you learn, for example, web practice to the print, actually you learn also to do a website, for example. And when you learn to use command line for do stuff like uh, image magic for uh, just resize your uh, your image, you learn to use the terminal. So this is also about this. And thanks for listening to us. And if you have question, we are open to answer it. There is a and yes, here you can see all our um, space and a place where we can discuss and meet. Uh, I brought some stickers from <laughs> PPP and also Velvetine Foundry <laughs> if you want them. <laughs>